that uh, first it's got big ring gauges, it's got 556, it's got a 6x60, uh, it's a little bit of a retro modern look as well, kind of in keeping with the new look and feel for Tarano. And you know the cigar basically is it will retail anywhere between 495 and 550. But the, I will tell you this is uh, in the last several days people who are smoking loyal when they realize what the price of it is are telling us we underpriced it. That that by the way will tells me we did what we sought out to do. It's phenomenal I'm smoking right now. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. So that's more of a medium body. It starts out real spicy, a little bit peppery, um, and then it just it just develops into just a very complex medium body smoke that again a different flavor profile from Tarano. I think the finish is really good on the cigar. Um, but again it's it's just exciting because we have so we have two different blends, two different projects. Loyal is kind of that four to five fifty cigar and uh, vault is gonna be more in the seven to eight dollar range. Great. You know, one thing you mentioned with the loyal with some of the larger ring gauges, and um, I've noticed with the line extensions you're doing, um, you started with the master earlier this year, you're introducing the larger ring gauges. And I know a lot of cigar purists prefer smaller ring gauges. I'm a big, big ring gauge enthusiast, and I always will be. What's, what's special about your big ring gauges? Well, first, first I want to say that if you were a fly in the wall in our in our offices for many years, we'd always discuss the big ring gauges. You know, and my father, and frankly myself, we'd say, well. Maybe it's a fad. We don't. We weren't really big ring gauge smokers at the time, and it's just been fascinating to us. When we would travel around the country, I can't tell you. I'd go to every single event, and everybody would always ask me, you know, what's, "Do you have a 56? Do you have a 60?" And I think that the reality is that our market, which is an evolving market, began to acquire a taste for a big ring gauge cigar. So you're right. The master BFC. And I'll let your uh, listeners and or readers figure out what BFC stands for. Um, the, the BFC was really our first time that we came out with that big ring gauge cigar. And, and I'll tell you, it's difficult to blend. You know, to maintain the integrity of a blend, to get the same kind of strength and flavor profile is not an easy thing to do. So we can't do it with every blend. But we felt with Master, it blended and smoked very well. And now the Exodus 50 years, uh, we, that's a really, really strong and great blend. So, you know, we really responded to the market there. So it's not always about what we think. The market kind of tells you too, hey, I'm asking for this, so we deliver. Absolutely. Well, Charlie, thanks for the time. Again, one final question. You know, what can you give us a glimpse into the future with Tarani? What are you guys um, thinking um, going into 2012? Well, look, you know, obviously Tarani is going to be out there more and more. We're doing a lot of promotional events. We're getting out meeting our consumers. But from the standpoint of a new blend, the only thing I can tell you, something we've worked on for a long time is we just had a discussion about big sizes. We're coming out probably this time next year if everything, you know, if the stars align themselves with uh, kind of your smaller traditional sizes right. um, that my dad smoked in the, you know, back in the 70s and 80s. And again, the blending smaller ring gauge sizes like the 46s, like the 42s, like the, the 40s. Um, so look for maybe a special kind of limited production run of small ring gauges with a ton of flavor and a ton of power. Well, Charlie, thank you very much for the time. Uh, this is Will from Cigar Coop signing off. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. I appreciate it.